Manchester United fans had hoped to be seeing Alexis Sanchez standing there holding up the Manchester United shirt by this point, but it's not the case. Because Henrik Mkhitaryan and this situation with Arsenal is dragging on a little bit, thanks in no small part due to Mino Raiola. I'm going to give you all the latest news and the updates on the Sanchez to Man United transfer. Let's get straight into it. So, Mino Raiola, we all know who he is. Popper's agent, Ibrahimovic's agent, Mkhitaryan's agent, Romero's agent. United have had a lot of dealings with Raiola over the last couple of years. And he is heavily involved in this one as well. What he's done is he's given an interview to Paul Hurst in The Times, where he has run through a list of questions, comments and points, making it clear that he feels that Mkhitaryan is the crucial player in this whole transfer situation. Speaking about it, he said Sanchez is part of Mkhitaryan's deal, not the other way around. Without him, Sanchez simply can't go to Manchester United. You know, Raiola is a dick as an agent, but he's just doing his job here. You know, Mkhitaryan is a player that he represents. He wants the best possible deal for him and probably a little bit of money in his back pocket as well, just like he did with the Pogba situation. It's entirely expected. And you, you know, if I was Mkhitaryan and my agent wasn't doing that, I'd be furious. Raiola is simply doing his job. Doesn't make it any easier for United fans to accept because he's effectively delaying Sanchez coming to United but it's sort of to be expected. And he also said a few other things. He said Mkhitaryan's problems at Man United are purely related to playing football. He has no problem with the manager. It is not personal. And he has two and a half years left on his contract. He doesn't have to leave. Now, Mkhitaryan's attitude has actually been questioned throughout his whole career. If you look at Borussia Dortmund, he struggled under Jurgen Klopp in the first couple of years. It really wasn't until Thomas Tuchel came in and he helped him psychologically that he became the player he was in that storming season that he did before he earned the move to Manchester United. And under Mourinho in his first year, questions were asked about his attitude again. Started off this season brilliantly, but then faltered when Pogba was injured or suspended and we needed Mkhitaryan to step it up. He didn't. Now, Mkhitaryan, as I said, is an, it's an I think it's an attitude problem at Manchester United. It was at, at Borussia Dortmund as well. And I do think the same thing would happen at Arsenal if he was to join. Uh, and then when Raiola was asked at the rate the chances of a deal being agreed with Arsenal, he said, at this moment, low, but life is dynamic. This is a great deal for Arsenal. They need better, younger players and they have to invest. So it's up to Arsenal to put a deal in place right now and a deal is a long way off. Again, Raiola here just playing the game. And I wouldn't say Mkhitaryan's that much younger than Sanchez. I swear they're only like a month apart in their age. But Mkhitaryan, still a player with real quality, who I genuinely think will be a good player for Arsenal. I think in this situation, right, Arsenal are getting a good deal. They're getting rid of a player that doesn't want to be there anymore. You can clearly see that this season from Alexis Sanchez. And they're signing a player, if they bring Mkhitaryan in, that they wanted to sign before United swooped and signed him. So, it, and he clearly wants to play regular football. It could be a good situation for Arsenal, but, I genuinely feel that this could be the greatest ever transfer deal that Manchester United ever do. Because look at it, Alexis Sanchez scored 30 goals last year. If we can get Sanchez and swap him directly for Henrik Mkhitaryan, a player who, although he could still be a great player for Manchester United, let's not question his talent, it's still there. But clearly it's not going to work under Jose Mourinho with Mkhitaryan. So if we can cut our losses with Mkhitaryan and simply replace him with Alexis Sanchez, a player who is desperate to win the Premier League, desperate to win the Champions League, a world-class finisher who can win games on his own, that could be one of the greatest ever transfer deals that United ever do. In football in terms, swapping Sanchez for Mkhitaryan is an absolute no-brainer. Economically, yes, Arsenal will be gaining an asset that's worth 30, 40 million, but as soon as Sanchez puts his name on a dotted line at United, his value probably doubles. I just can't believe that the, even, the, even the prospect of a straight swap is there. Do you think I'm going overboard? Let me know what you think about that. But as I said, what's next? Mino Raiola, he's playing the game. I do expect Mkhitaryan to go to Arsenal and Sanchez to come to United at this stage. City have pulled out. Chelsea's interest looked like nothing more than City throwing hot air at the transfer deal to try and up the price for United. And I think Mkhitaryan will want to join Arsenal, will want to play regular football, and Sanchez certainly wants to join Manchester United. I can't see it collapsing because of Mkhitaryan to Arsenal, but I can see it dragging on a little bit, which is exactly what's happened at the moment.
but just don't expect Sanchez to be in the team to face Burnley this weekend. That's what I would say. So let me know what you think about this whole situation. I'll bring you more updates on it, as I said, as soon as they happen. There's been nothing from David Ornstein, who we consider the most reliable source on this situation, right to the BBC. He's always spot on. So as soon as he's got something to say, we'll bring you an update. Until then, take it easy.